said that in the bottom. Unless I missed it, the authority shall receive sufficient funds. Yes, sir. The key word sufficient. To what degree? Right. Well, see, that's not a, that's not a, the secretary's not paying that. No, they're not going to do that. So they don't listen to her. So in other words, we just want you to know, and this is something that Murray underlined, we want to make sure that there's an assurance that the authority and everybody understands will continue to operate to, uh, you know, oversee sort of a, a little bit of what's going on, you know, with these, uh, this concessionaire. But that's more of a city authority discussion than really a concessionaire concern. So we could take, you know, we can take it out, and unless there's a different word choice you would like, but uh, I figured, you know, what we'll probably need to do as part of the process with the RFP is look at uh, a budget, you know, for the authority that determines what the needs are going to be so that we really do know what sufficient is. And I don't know that we've done that quite yet. Excuse me. Let me just ask Mr. Trotter a question. Did you say Hawkeye gets $100,000 a month? No, no, a year. So you tell me where you would like it. Uh, uh, perfectly happy for you to send it to you, Mr. Porter. Perfect. I, I, I would gladly accept it, but I think it should go to the, I think it should go to council. Uh, okay, I guess it's me. <laughs> 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 you can forward me a copy. Oh, I will. All right. I just, I, I just think you know, my concern was that my concern with Tom's email. I didn't want stuff to get caught in his filter. It would be so big, and so I didn't know what to do. So I figured I sent it. Just better. Thanks. I'll just. All right. if, if it's going to be large, yeah. then, I, I can't imagine that the submissions for a RFQ would be enormous, but if they are... Yeah, what do you think, Sam? Well, you should get a hard copy. The RFQs? The RFQs. They all are. So do you want to get do you want to get directly, or what I was trying to do was make it so that, yeah, I'll do whatever the authority pleases. Should we have both of us in there and we each get copies? And then you'll... Yeah, yeah. 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 that's yeah. what we'll do. You should sure. get an electronic copy Absolutely. and a hard copy. Okay, sounds good. Thanks for raising that. I'll make that change. And they should, they should uh, correspond. With this. They should correspond with the time sequence here, so you know, they should both be sent at the same time. Exactly. Mr. Trevor, can I just ask one question? Sure. Why do we pay Hawkeye? What do they do? Monitor the cameras in the garages. I think it's failing because have you ever noticed how many cars are robbed downtown? <laughs> Shooting, mm -hmm. robbers, it's failing. I mean, maybe you should take a look at getting rid of it. Well, can I, first let me say this, this is the, 
I've been with them since 2005. Best park authority that I've been involved in. What they do as a park authority is different from every other private. The money that they invest, we have caught a number of people with the cameras here to turn. I have a self parking lot here. We've caught people that rob. The money that they spend on security, all of this stuff is needed. You don't want to, you don't want to say take that stuff out. I mean, this is a responsible board that cares about, they control the rates and they control the security of the garages. So that's an area that you really don't want to. Well, I, I just understand, but just so you know, I monitor things a little closer in the city. And I mean, there's been, in li literally in downtown Wilkesbury in the last two years, hundreds and hundreds of cars that have been broken into. Every I'm weekend. Watch. Take I'm watching. Take, take, take out the cameras and the security. And well, they're doing it with the cameras. Yeah, well, but it, it's a deterrent. It's well, to trust me. I, I have a lot of pride. I understand. I'm not trying to argue with you. Yeah, I'm just yeah. giving you my point. But yeah, this, this is a responsible board. I'm not saying they're not. Can I make a motion that we release J.J. Murphy from his duties because it's a, it's a makeup job and he's not here today so, and everything's going along fine, so why, why do we need him? Why, why can't you get rid of him? No, no, I, I wasn't, I, I was shaking my head. You not, can't make a motion, about, they I, have to. The, the motion can't, uh, uh, respectfully. I understand, okay. And I think that anybody. I ask that somebody then motions, motions put that forward. Addressed by the because I'll be honest, the city is flipping mad over what he's getting paid. And we really don't even know what he's doing. Moving things ahead, looking at financials, talk to TML, $700. I mean, come on. I think, I think it's important. I, I think for your own credibility, it's important that you get rid of this guy. Thank you. All right, just listening to everybody, the public input. Uh, I think we have to make a decision here. And uh, the decision we've come to is that we're going to suspend uh, your engagement with us for the time being. Yes. We want to all officers to stop right now. From all your consultants, all your hired people, and retrain where we don't, awesome. you know, until we give you written instructions to do anything, and uh, any more for us. And, if uh, Fox Rothschild doesn't accept it, then we will uh, terminate your engagement with us. Uh, we do have a different way we're going to go, and we may bring you back on, but we're going to, we just can't have an unlimited contract. We're at 107000 and I can see this costing 350000 400000 and that's just totally ridiculous. I make a motion. Make a motion. We, uh, we suspend that resolution their engagement with us until further notice. And we do not want any more bills uh, from you, from any of your consultants. And uh, until we, it's not saying we're not going to engage you later, but uh, right now we're going a different way. I'll second that moment. Right? Second by Bobby Jacobs. That's your motion, but if that's going to require, I'm going to be a, as a council, I'll invite you. If that's your motion, it's not going to require the modification of the contract to the Fox Rothschild, which must agree to that suspension. If you can't, you have rights under the agreement. The authority has rights under the agreement, which you all have. But to suspend it uh, would suggest that the contract is, is continues to be enforced, but they're no longer able to do anything is something that I think would require a, uh, an amendment to the agreement. So I, I, uh, and I, I don't, I, and, uh, well, so I, can tell you. I don't know what else to say. Yeah. Why would we suspend something with the, with Fox Rothschild if we're upset now <laughs> with the work that's been done and all of this? Why would we put them on suspension with hopes of maybe we'll resume with them again, why don't we just stop it? Yes. 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 First of all, that's, that's, a, that's a majority decision. You can't post question eight. Okay, and I'm just I can trying to tell you, I can only tell you that. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's what you 
Kelly can do whatever it wishes and can have a discussion with Mr. Mm -hmm. Mostetter. And uh, frankly, uh, if that's the subject of discussion, uh, you can either have a private discussion with him uh, on that subject, or you can move to do the board. The authority can move to do whatever it wants. But I don't think it's fair to Fox Rothschild to put it in a position of saying, we're going to suspend you uh, without their approval and when you have a contract in place to which they're a part. Do you understand? I don't think you I can don't suspend. I guess I'm not understanding. You can't. Well, Ed's, Ed's motion was to suspend it. Your motion, your, your view is that the contract should be terminated. Mm. There's a difference. Okay. The we're only suspending it. If someone they agree with us. Until yeah, we right. get some other mm -hmm. information. We, but we don't have the option to terminate. Uh, but let me let me just let me just say this. Alan, how far away are we? I would hope days from this hitting the street. Yeah, it, it could go tomorrow with these changes. Okay, and and then you'll be sitting back and waiting for. Right. We're not going to go any. We're not going to go another step further than getting this on the street. No, we'll be responding to interested bidders who register with us and ask to get you know further information and send it on the website. No, there would not be, uh, you know, sufficient work over. And, and actually, we could say that for the next three weeks, we could, you know, limit sort of what is done if the goal is to. Well, get we don't want to limit. We want to stop. No, I appreciate that. Good. But I'm just saying. You're not a Amen. We have to probably pay the bills that we have now, but that's it. And that's it. We just do not want to pay one dollar more to anybody, any consultant, to you or anybody. I think the bills that have been submitted already. Yeah, well, the bills that have been submitted, I, I, I tell you as counsel to the authority, the bills that have been submitted, <coughs> excuse me, may be subject to public question, but under the contract, they are entitled to submit them and they're they're obligated to be well, paid. Well, we're entitled to maybe not pay them. Well, the authority has a contract which says that it has to pay bills as they accrue. Uh, the board has expressed its views, but I think that legally it's necessary to pay bills that are that are incurred under a contract. And maybe we should bounce a couple of checks for them. Well, we got to make sure we don't want to do that. Well, I'm going to say, John, 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 I